combination lock. The location's the combination. The location's the combination. Is that my freaking ear? And we're back again today. Whoop. We're back again, Russell from Aussie Mushroom Supplies, and today we're covering one of the most important things in mushroom growing, your incubation space. Let's get started. When you're growing small lots at home, you can just do something simple, two buckets. You check out our PF Tech guide on our website, it covers how to set this up, but essentially you've got a water heater in the bottom with water, keeping what's inside the top bucket warm with the towel over the top. You do have to fan it out a couple of times a day because there's no way of air exchange. Very simple, you can do a 150 litre tub, there's sort of no real size limit, but once you start adding more and more things in there, you need to fan it out more often, so you may want to go to a more complex setup with fans. In the incubation space, you need at least one to two room changes of air an hour, so the mushrooms can breathe. Mushrooms breathe air like we do, so you've got to keep fresh air coming through your room, so you need at least one to two room changes an hour at a minimum, depending on how full your room is. The more you've got in there, the more air exchange you'll need. So make sure you keep an eye on your CO2 levels once you've got mini bags in there. When you start getting up to bigger incubation spaces, cool room panels set up with air exchange. So the more clean your air is, the less trouble you're gonna have with things growing in there. So another important part of your incubation space is fresh, clean airflow. Consistent airflow is a must, but also adding a HEPA filter to your air in system will help keep your room cleaner. Generally it's the fan with HEPA filters, pre-filter at a minimum, but then obviously the higher you go grade filter, the less problems you'll have getting to that room. You want to make sure you have a constant clean air supply coming in. This will keep one, your room dry, and two, less things flying around the air to possibly get into your bags or jars. You want good stable temperatures as well, so people put split systems in these rooms or other sort of heating and cooling systems. The stable temperatures is a must, so things don't get too hot, or too cold and then too slow to grow. So all you need is some kind of climate control, so a split system air conditioner works really good. And you can also get controls, like this pull butt monitor over here, so you can set your temperature to different temperatures than what a standard split system will do. Having a cooling system in your room is very, very important. Once you start adding lots of bags, it's gonna heat up your room because mushrooms produce heat while they grow. So you gotta have a good adequate cooling system for how much material you've got in your room. Generally when you're growing at home and things aren't 100% perfect, you want cooler temperatures. So try and keep things around sort of 20 degrees but not over 22 and you should wipe out a lot of your troubles. So you've got two different types of filters here. You've got a 0.5 micron filter and a 0.2 micron filter. These filters catch all the big particles. At a minimum, it's really good. It will keep your room dust free and will keep a lot of problems out. But then also when you go to this higher grade filter, it catches absolutely everything. So you run this pre-filter, then this filter, and your room's essentially gonna be like a clean room. Make sure you've got everything spaced out in all your shelves in your room and not have things too cluttered, otherwise this will cause hot spots and that could cause problems with your mushroom mycelium growing. Tips for a good incubation space. Number one, stable temperatures is a must. If things get too hot, you'll have problems start growing, too cold, and it'll be too slow. Number two, good airflow. Airflow is a must because mushrooms breathe oxygen like we do and expel CO2. If too much CO2 builds up, they'll suffocate and they won't grow and die. Number three, airflow again is important to keep things dry. If you get moisture build up, your filters get wet or your walls will get wet, which will encourage bad things to grow and they can grow on the moisture and get into all your nice clean sterile work. Number four, cleaning. A good cleaning routine, generally a weekly or monthly disinfection, depending on your filtration system, you'll have to do more or less cleaning. Number five, adding a good filtration system to your air intake is a huge benefit. A 0.5 micron pre-filter, 
example, keep your room dust free and keep most things out, but a 0.2 micron filter keeps all spores out of your airflow, which means there's nice clean air for all your mushrooms to grow and no problems flying around your room to possibly get into your work. Number six, during the incubation stage, mushrooms need total darkness. This will help them grow better. No light whatsoever. And that's it. Happy mushroom growing. Woo! Thanks again for watching. Make sure you jump on our website and check out all our fans and filters. Jump on our YouTube page, subscribe. Don't miss all our exciting stuff coming up. Catch you next time.